I'm just going to give you a quick um, look at where we are currently with the Open Badge system and uh, some suggestions about how we could very quickly um, implement this for Evolve. So this is Open Badge Factory and I've come into the issuer um, set of uh, tools and under issuer you will see that if I choose the filter that is uni collaboration all the available badges that are currently uni collaboration are shown here from the basic badge through to the advanced plus badge also a badge available to participants who have completed a VE that is organized by um, a, a TEP badge holder. Uh, we've also run a youth workers version of TEP. So if I open the TEP basic badge, you can see down here what the graphic looks like. So all the graphics have to fit with the Erasmus Plus hub. Uh, and you can see that the graphics around training for virtual exchange have this graphic and these, this, these colorways, which are reflected on the Erasmus Plus portal. Um, you can then see that you've got some general information that is in common with all the badges on all the different programs. So this is general information about the purpose of the Erasmus Plus um, badging. And finally, a set of criteria. So what Miriam and I had started to look at was how we would build on this and how we would tie this up so that it would be suitable as well for um, Evolve participants. And what we've done is I've put together a brief overview here in a Google Doc that just takes a screen grab of each of the current Unicolab badges, which are, as you saw, called um, TEP badges at various levels, and then some notes for us to discuss as to uh, any changes that need making. Um, so in order to make changes, essentially, I would come into the Open Bad Badge Factory set up, I would go into the creator tools and I can create a badge that um, reuse a badge that already exists, reuse a graphic, um, but change it from saying TEP participant into evolve participant um, and obviously make sure that the criteria information reflects the criteria that we have agreed to use. Um, early discussions essentially were along the lines that we could reuse the TEP basic badge as an evolve badge for participants who'd fulfilled criteria in the first training run with the potential perhaps of adding the TEP advanced for um, possibly those people who had also engaged in the optional modules. Um, so those were our preliminary thoughts and it would be great to have your input on this. Once we've got a decision, it's very quick and easy for me to implement, but I don't want to make that decision without everybody having some input into it. Um, so I will share the link to this badge, uh, to, sorry, to this um, Google document and uh, see whether we're happy to get those changes made. Um, once we're set up, then it is possible both Miriam and I are set up as issuers on the system, but you can add additional issuers. Um, in terms of the badge issue, it is just simply a matter of, I'll come in to show you, but there is a, 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 a video that already exists that shows issuers how to issue. Um, it is simply a matter of finding the badge that you need. And um, essentially, you fulfill a set of um, checks here until you get to the point where you confirm an issue but obviously to do that you need to upload the emails of the people who are going to get the badges and people need to be aware to check their email in order to follow that up. Uh, they then 
publish their badge or save their badge, take it away, usually through Open Badge Passport. But all of this has videos and support material that, are, that is already collected. So if we can just progress um, the uh, need for changes in order to progress the evolve badges, um, everything else will follow. And uh, I look forward to sorting that out. <laughs>